Bishop E.W. Jackson did a conference call with his anti-gay coalition because he has a coalition that's anti-gay, which is hilarious. And as usual, he spewed hatred. This whole marriage thing has really awakened a sleeping giant. It really has. It's, it's made the things I've said and done, which seemed um, maybe a little bit out there, you know, maybe a little bit extreme. Now, all of a sudden, they're mainstream in, in the minds of many black Christians and folks, because I've been warning about this stuff, saying that, you know, we have leadership, and particularly in this president, not only him, but particularly in him, that is, that is absolutely leading us in a way that is antithetical to our commitment to Jesus Christ. And, of course, I got a lot of flack for saying those sorts of things, but there's less and less flack and there's more and more agreement because I think he's pushed the envelope a little bit too far. Uh, people are shocked that every time there's an opportunity, I mean, even with this whole Bruce Jenner thing, I refuse to call him by some female name. That's ridiculous. But even with this Bruce Jenner thing, he's, out, he's, he's got to speak up and congratulate Bruce Jenner but for his courage. I'm thinking, you know, so you're congratulating him for his insanity. Because that's what that is. That that is insane. That's mental illness. That's all that is. And it's the idea of commending people for their courage. I mean, give me a break. The conservative brain is a really sad thing, because it basically it goes like this: If you're not exactly like me, if you don't fit into some sort of paradigm that I understand, well, in mental illness, you're insane. You don't do things that I do and think exactly like I think, and you're not part of the world I understand. So, I hate it because it's different. You're the fucking definition of a bigot. What do you want me to tell you? That is, you're married to your own ideas and your paradigm of the world, and if it breaks from that even a little bit, you get scared, and when you get scared, you go, you have mental illness. Maybe you're the one with issues. Have you thought about that? I don't get it, man. Look, it's, it's a very simple thing, okay, EW? Some people are born male, and they feel male. Some people are born female, and they feel female. Sometimes people are born uh, male and they're attracted to the same sex. Sometimes people are born female attracted to the same sex. Sometimes people are bisexual, they're attracted to both genders. And sometimes people are born male and they essentially have a female brain. Sometimes people are born female and they essentially have a male brain. These things happen and they occur in nature. So it is by definition natural. So to say it's mental illness, why? It's mental illness because you don't fucking understand it? It's who fucking cares? I don't understand... You know, VW bugs doesn't mean I want to ban them. I don't understand a lot of shit, man. I don't. I don't. I don't get the Kardashians. I'm not going into E with an AK-47 saying shut down this garbage now. It's not the way the world works. But this, again, the, but he's a bigot, and that's the way he thinks, so he can't help himself. Mental illness, because I don't get it, even though I should be able to sit down and read about it and understand it. But he can't do it. And understand, E.W. Jackson just called himself mainstream. <laughs> adorable. So let's look at some of his beliefs. He said that he's willing to die to fight gay marriage. Very mainstream of you, man. I'm sure a whopping 0.01% of America is with you. Uh, he said he atheists are just demon-possessed. That's why they're atheists. They're demon-possessed. I didn't know Gog and Magog buried themselves in my anus. I'm, I gotta check later. I gotta have somebody take a look. Uh, he said Christians can't support Democrats. They, they can't, or else you're not a Christian. Because Jesus, of course, is more on the side of Republicans. Obviously. He was for the Iraq War. He's against universal health care. These things are clear. Uh, he said gays in the military anger God, naturally. He said to end federal aid for natural disasters. Again, very Jesus-like. I'm sure Jesus would agree with that. And he said that uh, government safety nets are worse than slavery. Yes. Yes. Whenever food stamps stop a kid from starving, I think that's worse than slavery. Nothing you believe is mainstream, EW. And nothing you believe is intelligent. 